Yo, what's up guys? Another Giants video. But in this video, I want to talk more about than just this immense crazy team in Giants, which is once again by Saved by Grace. Thanks a lot for showcasing this team. But besides just this video, I also want to talk about something that will be useful for you guys rather than this team, which is absolutely not useful for you guys. Because, well, most people are not going to have these units. It's just fun to showcase and it looks amazing. 16 seconds on an auto run only. <laughs> Okay, to the point, say, to the point. Um, what I want to talk about is something that I'm going to showcase more at the end of the video. I'm first going to talk about this team and just how it works, when it works, showcasing the runes. If you happen to have these units, you can make an insane crazy team. But afterwards, I'm actually going to talk about all of the dungeon teams that I have been making. I've been making a lot of dungeon teams on pretty much every dungeon so far and... At some point, especially with balance changes or th changes of what units you have. Do you have a Tesha? Do you not have a Tesha? Should you build this? Should you build that? Should you use a Debra? Should you use a Luna? Should you use... Like all of these kind of questions like should I use X, Y, and Z is something that's pretty hard to answer every time. And it's also hard to keep it like organized in one spot to say like, okay, where can I find more information? Like I have upgrades on runes. Can I go to the next team or what should I aim for as the next team? The moment I get better runes and what are the meta dungeon teams out there? Well, I actually made a Discord channel specifically to pretty much summarize all of that. But I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And we're just going to look at this run, look at the runes, and then at the end of the video, which probably a lot of you are going to skip forward to if you're more interested about that part. But either how, that part I will be talking more about uh, that specifically, what I set up, what my plan is with that, and how I'm trying to keep that up to date to all of the meta teams in one position. So if there's any change to any meta team, you can find it over there and that's also where i'll be posting either my videos because most of the time i'll make a video if there's anything interesting i also put all of the videos over there for uh, sfa so the, the the beginner guide videos all of the meta teams that i feel are relevant for people to go through iterations of getting like faster teams i will post in there also if it's a video from someone else or link on twitter for someone else it's going to be posted in there but I have been sidetracking a lot on what I actually wanted to showcase here in this team. And this team is running insanely fast. And the fun fact is, if he had slightly better runes, mainly on not Hemonculus, you could go for a 16 second average run all the time if you get the right team up with Ikaru. Which is absolute, which is absolutely insane. That's ridiculous. Like, the, just the idea of this whole team is just... It's super 5 hat. I like every part about it. And any of those units, can you really replace any of those units? I would say if you happen to have a Sarath, but you don't have a Jara, you could still go for the same team. But then you put a Prilia on the Jara uh, slot and you probably remove the... Well, I would still remove the... Uh, I, I would go for a more standard team, actually. If you had Sarath, I would go for Sarath. Plus, then uh, probably still going for something along the lines of like Luna, Homunculus, Prilia, and those kind of units. You do not no longer have to have Prilia move in front of your other units. And you could have a slight issue if your uh, Jara doesn't let armor break or branding. Prilia has that issue a little bit less. But as you can see, man, 16 seconds on something that we thought would be hard. So you might ask, like, how does he get a 13 second run? Because the 13 second run is actually the same team. But that is rather than having Jara move first, having the um, Ikaru move first. And then just praying that the right team up happens. And if you get the right team up, you get an insane time with that straight up switch. Super insane. But yeah, these units definitely not free to play. Um, we have seen teams with like Debra and that kind of stuff, but Debra is no longer as crazy good that everyone is like, ooh, I want a Debra for fast teams and that kind of stuff. It's no longer really the thing that much anymore. Now we should be looking at like, okay, I want that Sarath, I want that Jara. Probably Lucifer can still help out quite a lot. If you remove the Belial for a Lucifer, I think this team might be looking at... Yeah, I, I would say so. I think this team would be looking at... Something that would be insane, like 16 seconds all the time, as long as you land these armor breaks. Like 16 seconds on an auto run. Like, come on, man. That's just, that is just insane. That, that should be illegal. But yeah, Sarath is so much easier right now, ever since the balance change that we had to make all of these things hit. And we're going to look into the runes at the moment. To be honest, I didn't check the runes yet. So these runes could be very insane. They could be 
somewhat mediocre, but looking at the damage here, runes look pretty good, I would say. But man, this team, I want, this is where I keep saying, man, I want a Jara. Like, to be honest, like a lot of people say, like, oh, I, I hate Jara, Jara's whatever. Man, look at this. 17 seconds average. Yo, that's... <laughs> that is just illegal, man. You farm literally like three minutes, 58 is as fast as I was farming on my alt when I just started on Dragon's Abyss. <laughs> it's just, I'm pretty sure if you bring this team towards Dragons, then you could do like 20, 22 second averages as well, because I'm pretty sure a similar team with the Zerath, probably even all of the same units just having to change the Amonkulus for something else, maybe a Luna, maybe a Lin or whatever, would probably work towards Dragons as well. And that's just absolutely insane. Wow, 17 seconds. Okay, let's look at the runes. Oh, by the way, he did actually send me a picture of Dragons as one, 21 second average Dragons. That's fucking insane, man. But let's look at the runes. So artifacts wise, good one on light. <laughs> Funny enough, it's actually attack. So he goes through all of the runes. I'm not sure if he's also showcasing the stats itself because the runes, okay, I'm not sure if he showcased the Seraph itself, but the Akaru is actually with enhanced runes. Oh, funny enough. Um, in this case, we have some, well, he's actually going through all of the runes. That's so unnecessary. We just want to see the stats. So yeah, we do see that you would have to up the accuracy a little bit. We have a shield set in there. I guess it kind of helps if teams derp. But this is a pretty good rage set in general. That's definitely a good rage set. So Jara's doing a lot of chip damage already as well himself. Homunculus, a pretty solid set, definitely. If he had higher accuracy, you could also bring armor breaks on team ups. But I guess that's pretty hard to bring into a homunculus that already does do a lot of damage. So definitely understandable for that choice. And then we have, wow, okay, these sets are actually insanely good. These sets are definitely very good. Um, so yeah, definitely even if you have the units, not something easy replicatable towards uh, that extent. But that's an insane time. Definitely. So now to talk about the Discord of Dungeon Guide Archive. I also have the Video Guide Archive. A lot of the Dungeon Guides are also in there, but it's a little bit more outdated. I have to update, rework that. Where can you find all of it? It is in my Discord. That's the first link in the description down below. And also my Discord is linked in every video that I post. So if you don't know exactly how to get back to my Discord, every video that I post has in the description somewhere my Discord link. So you can go to the Discord link. You can simply just mute the whole Discord and just use it simply for the one that's in content and then for the dungeon guides or also the video archive guide there is some good stuff in there for example like old guides that are still relevant on like world bosses r5 is maybe still a little bit relevant these are not that relevant getting your json is definitely still relevant um some progression guides definitely still relevant so definitely still a bunch of relevant videos in there if you want to check stuff out but the main thing over here is right now i'm trying to keep organized of all of the dungeon themes I am going to put in some Q&A things as well that I think often are uh, asked like, oh, why does my Kai or my Tesha not move twice after a bird boost, which is your Prelia has to be on tech, like that kind of stuff. I will try to answer those in here as well. Well, we can see like it's the first team with if you don't have a Tesha, you can go for this team. I have a difficulty of runings in there. I might change these numbers at some point because it's kind of arbitrary, like just, just giving a rating to how difficult something is to rune. But this is the most common team that I would say is working for everyone right now. And I definitely would recommend for everyone to build. The um, Deborah version is a little bit harder to build, but this is what you get the main team. And then this is also like the videos which are recorded on it, like which are showcasing all of those teams. How does it work? That kind of stuff. Um, then we also have for dragons, we have those teams in here. We have like the first two teams in there. We have the difficult team with the, I gave it a 10, 10 because that one's pretty difficult, but the other one is uh, quite a bunch easier, I would say. And also the early game team of like that literally a one out of 10. Uh, we have the necro team in there. It's just technically one team right now for now, but we have one variation to it. And the variation is the two star bet. Um, spiritual realm. I don't even have a team in there. I have never made a video guide on it whatsoever. Uh, Steel Forge, we have one guide. Burnish the script, we have one guide, but we're going to have the Abyss stuff later. So we're definitely going to get new guides on those at the moment. The, the Abyss Heart is released, and then I would remove both of those as well, I would say. And then we have the Raid team as well, which is just 
Um, it's not most optimal right now because it needs quite some stuff to make it work, but I will get updated versions of this and I will definitely get uh, SFA versions or the save for Abyss versions of that so for beginner accounts. So that's definitely something that might be very useful to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, find this useful. And also I'm just going to, um, let's say, wait, I'm going to add reaction of a thumbs up. And every time that you used one of the, like if you used the giant's hard one, I want you to thumbs up the giant's hard one. And if you use one of the dragon's hard one, I want you to thumbs up the dragon's hard one. And that for all of them. So I just kind of want to see like what you guys are uh, focused on what you guys are using, if this stuff is actually used or I'm just wasting my time over here, I have absolutely no clue. But I think this is something because there's so many guides right now, there's so many changes all the time to uh, the dungeon changing for like balance patches, the uh, dungeon changing for AI changes. That we have seen a lot of changes since the reloaded patch and before it was not really that many changes, were just like two or three teams and those were there for like years and years but now there's a lot of stuff changing and i kind of want to keep this whole list up to date so everything in here is relevant in meta for something that you can use right now bunch of these videos are recorded after or uh, i would say the bunch of these videos are recorded prior to the um, ai change but then it's still mentioned like for example i have uh, this video was showcasing like three of the teams but then all three a little bit and then i also say like okay um, this is how it is explained of the whole team, but this is how it is working right now. And But then in a smaller video, because it was just a part of that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed the insane team of Saved by Grace. Once again, thanks for showcasing the team. That's all for it today. Hope you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you think about this, or would you say like this is a waste of time? Or if you have some other like nice suggestions to either this list or just to do something completely else, let me know in the comments as well. Always open to feedback, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.